In this video, we will talk about the postpartum hemorrhage or PPH. PPH is the excessive bleeding from genital tract following baby's birth up to six weeks after delivery. It is the most common cause of maternal mortality and morbidity around the world. Normally, the amount of blood loss in vaginal delivery is 500 ml. In cesarean delivery, it is 1000 ml and it is 1500 ml in cesarean hysterectomy. PPH is defined as the blood loss of more than 500 ml in vaginal delivery or more than 1000 ml in caesarean delivery. Clinically, we can say that any amount of blood loss which adversely affects the general condition of the mother like increased heart rate, decreased blood pressure, decreased hematocrit and decreased saturation is called the PPH. The incidence of PPH is about 1% amongst hospital deliveries. The types of PPH based on the amount of blood, we have the minor PPH with blood loss of less than 1 liter, major PPH with blood loss of more than 1 liter, and severe PPH with blood loss of more than 2 liters. Depending on the time of occurrence, the PPH is classified as primary and secondary PPH. Primary PPH occurs within 24 hours of delivery. Primary or early PPH is again classified into two types, third stage PPH and true PPH. In third stage hemorrhage, the bleeding occurs before expulsion of the placenta. In true PPH, however, the hemorrhage occurs after the expulsion of placenta, but within the first 24 hours of delivery. The secondary PPH occurs 24 hours after the delivery, but within the first six weeks of delivery. The causes implicated in primary PPH include four T's, the tone, trauma, tissue, and thrombin. Talking about the first T, the tone, when the tone of the uterus is disturbed or when the uterus becomes atonic, the blood vessels at the placental site remain open and cause excessive bleeding. The atonic uterus is usually caused by certain conditions such as grand multiparity, polyhydramnios, antepartum hemorrhage which includes placenta previa and abruptio placenta, multiple pregnancy, morbid adherent placenta, prolonged or precipitate labor, fibroid uterus, and so on. The second T is the trauma, like lacerations of cervix, perineum, uterus, and so on. Next T is the tissue, which refers to the bits of placental tissue of fetal membranes retained inside the uterus. The fourth T is the thrombin, which refers to the coagulopathy or blood coagulation disorders. Coagulopathy may be caused by disseminated intravascular coagulation or DIC, excessive fibrinolysis, inherited coagulation disorders, or idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura. Among 40s, atonicity is the most common cause of primary PPH. The causes of secondary PPH include retained placental fragments, which is the most common cause, the infection, subinvolution of the uterus, local trauma, etc. The signs and symptoms include visible vaginal bleeding, Paler due to blood loss, increasing heart rate, falling blood pressure, altered level of consciousness, enlarged uterus as it fills with the blood, maternal collapse can also occur. For the diagnosis of PPH, we estimate the blood loss by counting the number of saturated pads. Almost 10% reduction in hematocrit occurs in PPH. On palpation, the uterus feels soft and boggy due to the atonicity. However, in traumatic PPH, the uterus is well contracted. Now we will talk about the management of PPH, step 1 or immediate management. If the uterus is atonic, massage it firmly in circular motion to contract it. Elevate legs 30 to 45 degrees to maintain blood flow to the vital organs. Administer supplemental oxygen by non-rebreather mask at the rate of 8 to 10 liters per minute to maintain normal oxygen saturation. Empty the bladder by catheterization to cause uterine contractions. Administer uterotronics like prostaglandins, oxytocin, 40 units in drip at the rate of 40 drops per minute or ergometrine 0.25 to 0.50 mg to increase the tone of uterus. Administer IV fluids or plasma expanders to maintain tissue perfusion. Arrange the extra blood for transfusion if needed. The step 2. Explore the uterus under general anesthesia for retained placenta. Administer misoprostol 
100 micrograms per rectum if atonicity is caused by tocolytic agent the drug which suppresses the uterine contractions administer calcium gluconate 1 gram iv slowly step 3 if bleeding continues apply bimanual compression with one hand in the vagina and another on the abdomen this puts pressure on the placental side and stops bleeding if bleeding still persists we go for the step 4 in step 4 we perform tight intrauterine packing a 5 meter long 8 centimeter wide folded gauze piece soaked in the antiseptic cream is introduced into the uterus for 24 hours to arrest bleeding alternatively balloon of Foley's catheter condom catheter or bakery balloon is inflated with normal saline 200 to 500 ml it is kept in the uterine cavity for 46 hours if bleeding still persists we go for the uterine artery ligation in which we tie up the arteries supplying blood to the uterus now we will discuss about the nursing management of pph the first nursing diagnosis will be deficient fluid volume related to excessive bleeding after delivery as evidenced by reduced blood pressure increased heart rate and altered level of consciousness the nursing interventions will include ensuring two large bore iv cannulas to infuse large volumes of iv fluids elevating the legs to improve venous return administering supplemental oxygen as prescribed infusing large volumes of crystalloids or volume expanders as prescribed initiating blood transfusion if needed the second nursing diagnosis will be ineffective tissue perfusion related to fluid volume deficit as evidenced by prolonged capillary refill time the nursing interventions will include infusing prescribed iv fluids monitoring blood pressure and capillary refill time frequently administering vasopressor agents if needed the third nursing diagnosis will be risk of infection related to invasive procedures the nursing interventions will include maintaining strict asepsis performing proper hand hygiene encouraging increased fluid intake and administering prophylactic antibiotics if prescribed thank you for watching that was all about the postpartum hemorrhage